So I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Um, if you haven't, or it's been a while, um, Murray plays the character of a weatherman that is sent to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to cover a story about Phil the Groundhog. Groundhog time. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. This is actually a real festival in real life where Phil the Groundhog is supposed to come out uh, sometime in early February, and if it's sunny, Phil sees his shadow, and that means we'll have six more weeks of winter. And if it's cloudy, then spring is supposed to arrive uh, six weeks early. Anyway, Bill's pissed that he's got to be there, um, as you saw, and he makes no effort to hide it. He hates his coworkers, he hates his viewers, he's rude, um, and he's disrespectful. But he quickly finds out that he's forced to live the same day over and over again. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Bill? Ned Ryerson? Bang! Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. For a while, Bill totally goes off the deep end. He fights the circumstances, he rebels, he indulges in overeating, he even says he's a god because uh, he can't be killed. Um, but this isn't giving him a sense of meaning. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. He's out of his gourd. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. <laughs> he might be okay. Bill recognizes that he can't escape that day. And that day is a representation of the present moment. So instead, he embraces it. He starts working on himself. He takes the opportunity to learn new things like playing the piano. He learns French. He changes his attitude and he starts caring for others. Hello, Father. Let's get you someplace warm. Yeah. yeah, remember me? I study 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aime You speak French. Reliving Groundhog Day forced Bill to learn one of life's greatest lessons, that he has the power to create his own reality by taking full responsibility. And you know, taking responsibility is often misunderstood, so I wanna to quickly touch base on this topic. I just finished reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and it came out recently. Um, it's by the author Mark Manson. He says that a lot of people hesitate to take responsibility for their problems in our society because responsibility is often associated with fault. He says that what we have to do is we have to look at responsibility in the present tense and fault in the past tense. Bill Murray took full responsibility moving forward to change himself and this drastically changed his circumstances. He got to experiment over and over again, one day at a time, until he got it right. And eventually, Murray transformed into the most admired man in Punxsutawney. But you know what? It didn't just transform him. It transformed everyone else around him. Groundhog Day is a perfect metaphor for how a lot of people live. A lot of people want to make changes, but they tend to get stuck in the same patterns every day, uh, living on all autopilot and blaming their circumstances, as opposed to taking responsibility and moving forward. Could you imagine if you had the ability to live the same day over and over again? All the possible uh, outcomes that you could come up with if you broke free of your patterns. Probably a lot. Whatever change you wanna make might be big and it might be overwhelming, but what you can do is look at it as a series of tiny steps. Ask yourself, what can I do today to start changing just like Bill Murray started to do one step at a time. Not bad, Mr. Connors. You say this is your first lesson? Yes, but my father was a piano mover, so. Don't think about the future or don't think about the past. This is the moment that you can start changing. And after a while, your small set of changes will accumulate just like it did for Bill Murray. 
All right, so that is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Um, I really enjoyed making this one. Uh, I know that Groundhog Day, I think, is coming up on like February 2nd, and I actually didn't know that before making this video, so. Um, anyway, um, that's it. So we will talk to you again on the next episode.